Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland puts on quite a show with large grids of 911 GT3 Cup cars bashing bumpers over eight exciting rounds. Round three of the series took the paddock across the border to the stunning Red Bull Ring in Austria, where a field of 31 drivers prepared for battle. Speedwork is really beautiful. Um, it's going up, down, really fast corners. <laughs> when you're a bit bored, you can look right and left and you see beautiful mountains. The asphalt is really, really flat, so the grip is quite high. So all the cars are, are really fast and lap times are really close. Ten wins from 16 races brought reigning champion Sven Muller factory driver status and a step up to the prestigious GT Masters Series. He's the perfect role model for the latest crop of hopeful Porsche juniors. This weekend we have the most drivers that have ever been in Carrera Cup. We have 31 cars on track. What makes it quite difficult because it's very, very tight. Every tenth obviously will count and we'll see where we go, but uh, obviously I hope for the best. The main thing is all the cars are the same and everyone starts with the same point. And after that you have to prove yourself. It's one of the hardest one-make racing cups in, in Europe. I'm really honored and, and happy to be here because this is a really good race car and uh, I really enjoy to drive it. Dennis Olsen was in red-hot form, increasing his championship lead with a fourth win of the season. He and fellow junior Thomas Preining are on the same career ladder that took Muller and Porsche young professional Mathieu Jaminet to the next level. For me, it's a great opportunity to, to be a young professional this year after the, the Porsche Junior last year. It's like an intermediate level between the, the junior status and the Porsche works driver. We are keep learning with this program. We support the Porsche customer teams in the GT3 categories, like for example here in GT Masters. Besides that, we still have some training. Uh, driver coach Sasha Masson is still there for us and uh, media training as well. So I think we keep working on the package to be one day a works driver in the future. Now if I look back, um, the last three years when I was Porsche Junior was the most important years in my whole racing career. There I learned really to work with engineer, to develop a car and of course Carrera Cup is really really high performance and, and the, the driver level is really high. Many famous names have come through Carrera Cup including Nick Tandy and Earl Bamba, both Le Mans winners with Porsche. It's a perfect proving ground for the stars of tomorrow. I started my GT racing career in, in the Carrera Cup and um, it's a lot of professional drivers here already, but many young talents coming up. It's always a very competitive field. The cars are not easy to drive, but also not so difficult. So the, the field is pretty, pretty tight and uh, this creates good racing. We could see in the, in the past and now I think in the future as well, that the drivers which are really quick there then grow up and are also really quick in GT3 car or LMP or whatever. So it's just the best school, to be honest, uh, just because the car is so good. Conrad Motorsport have played a key role in turning out professional races over 11 years, competing in the One Make series. Prining and Olsen look like they're already on their way. It's great to be in a team with so many big names having driven for this team already. I think that makes it very special and I hope that uh, we can add to that statistics. All of the drivers have done a great job, they're coming from the same place. Especially Earl Bamba who was racing in a Carrera Cup and Super Cup and went straight as a factory driver. And that's a dream for me as well, I want to do the same steps. Therefore, I'm hoping to have a really good season. And so far it has been pretty good.